you know, some hammers can come out of Weight Watcher cinder block program with barely a scratch. Justin, on the other hand, he wasn't so lucky. You go lay on your bite of cold anvil steel. I'm going to go edit the video of me giving you life and then destroying you mercilessly. It's Nate here, and today I got this sweet hammer right here that I made, and I want to smash some center blocks. So let's get right to it, you know? Let's just smash it. What? Let's see how I made it. Why would you want to see that? Oh, because I copied ZNA Productions? Well, that makes sense. Well, I guess. I guess here it is. There you go. I got my root beer water, and today. It's a Saturday, and I'm heading out to my shop because we are going to make a war whammer. That's right, a war whammer. I love war whammers. And this really cool guy on YouTube, who I took this inspiration from, and I'm slightly um, changing the design to match what I do. His name's ZNA Productions. He's a really great guy. You guys should totally go check him out. But I'm going to be making this war whammer basically completely out of bar stock. I'm gonna get started. Alright. So we got the stuff welding on. Um, I forgot to show you guys the pieces. Once I got them all cut out, this is like my armor piercing spike. This is my still slightly warm head right there. Uh, now I did just tack weld it for now because now I want to grind it down, make it all nice and even. Stuff nice. Um, I am going to cut angles into it. So I'm going to do that, and then we're going to move to this, get all the edges nice and flat. Then we're going to weld that on, and then we're going to take this piece of angle iron, and we're going to throw it to the forge, like that. We're going to bend it, and then cut a slit right, right there. That'll fit right over that and then we'll bolt it on, weld it, we're gonna put a couple bolts in this, just make it all really nice and secure. Then we're gonna go try to smash a couple of uh, cinder blocks with it. So uh, I'm gonna get back to work. This is how it was going. I don't have the uh, armor piercing spike or the handle welded on yet, but I got uh, the face. Face is looking pretty nice. I'm probably gonna put a couple bolts through here just to reinforce it because I'm not sure exactly how well my welds will hold up, but it's looking pretty good. I got a Make a cool little handle design in here, put a handle onto it, maybe have like a little spike here at the end, kind of like uh, 
Eli's hammer. But otherwise, I like it. I'm gonna go try to smash some cinder blocks when I'm done. Yeah, I stole that idea from him too. Aren't I just the best viewer ever? Anyways, I'm gonna get back to work. Got like this sweet handle on tour right here. Just about ready to go do the final welds. Just doing some finishing touches with the grinding. But it's looking pretty good. I'm really excited to go test this baby out. Um, I'm going to put a couple bolts here. I may have already mentioned that. I uh, got to put a handle on it, of course. I got my holes all ready for that. Thank you, Mr. Cobalt Drill Bit. I love you. And I'm just going to put some wood slabs on it for now. Might treat it, might not. I'm thinking of doing like a sweet paracord wrap, though. So I'll probably end up saving it for that. I'm going to go finish welding, put a couple bolts on. I'll probably be back in a sec. I'm also going to like polish this whole thing up with flap discs. It's going to look nice. It's going to rust, but it's going to look nice at first. I'll be back once that's done. So this is where I'm at right now. I got the head all welded up. I haven't gotten the bolts in yet. I need to buy another uh, cobalt drill bit because the bolts that I have are just a little bit bigger than the size of the bit I have. But right now I have the handle slabs on. Um, uh, the epoxy's dry and I got the pins in there. Uh, this is like 24 hour epoxy, so I'll have to come back tomorrow to finish this. But once the epoxy dries, I will trim off the pins and work on forming the handle. Put the bolts in. Maybe try to clean up the welds just a little bit more, but otherwise it's basically done. Doesn't look as pretty, but it'll pack a pretty big punch. So, I'll be back. Once we're good, also I might try to reinforce the handle a bit, because there is just a little bit of, you know, play with it, but I'm done for now. Whee! Four hours, let's go see how Justin's hammer is coming. <laughs> Alright, here we go, it looks like the grill glue set up, it's dry. Now, I'm going to work on cleaning it up, and it's looking really good. Alright, I'm going to get those pins cut off, and work on sanding it out. Alright, so we're out here in the woods, we're going to smash some cinder blocks. This is not my intro anymore, Josh can talk now. We're going to smash some cinder blocks, doesn't that sound like fun? Terrific. Yeah, exactly. And hopefully, this doesn't break and send shards of steel into us. Yeah, put your safety glasses on. <laughs> I, got, I got my mask here. I gotta wash them, they're dirty. So I'm gonna try to smash some stuff, and Josh is gonna try to smash some stuff. I gotta wash my safety glasses. So, uh, with, with that being said, cue the music. Oh yeah, that's what. Well, Justin didn't last long. I'll weld it back up and I like display it, but if you look, handle got bent and the welds didn't hold. So, for all my future ones, Bolts are the way to go. We did smash two though. Pretty sweet. We got we smashed two. I knew this wasn't gonna hold up, but 
It was a fun little two day project. There it went. <laughs> On the upside, I got a cool little thingy to wax stuff with. Now we're just waiting for Josh to get back to the sledgehammer so we can smash the cinders. The cinders are cinder fun. Woo! I am bored. Can you tell? Josh, hurry up. We should have brought the sledge with us. Should have thought ahead, but we didn't. Smash and stuff. Do it next time. Break. 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 Editing this is gonna be fun, you know. Honestly, the bobble cam is gonna be great. You guys bored yet? I've been going for eight minutes. Josh! Josh! Hurry up! I guess I'll do a, a, a better synopsis while I'm standing here. So basically, the welds didn't hold. There we go, better synopsis. Okay, better synopsis. So, you see that the shaft of the hammer was not very thick. Uh, so that meant it would bend a bit. I kind of figured that. Um, I didn't have anything thicker. This is actually a piece of angle iron that I cut one of the thingies off so it, it bent. I'm probably going to get a thick piece of flat stock for the next one. Um, also, the head was smaller than I would like it to be. Oh wow, I didn't even notice as you look right down there, these were flat together, now the weld's broken, it was starting to bend back, that's fun. This side didn't hold up, or didn't break too bad, it's pretty good. Yes! Guys, come back. I'm tired of talking to the camera. I want to talk to a weird guy. Josh! Josh! Come back! Josh! Come back! I want to smash more stuff! Come back! Bring the fun thing! I want to smash something! The last one was disappointing. Here he comes. We and I have full Betsy to smash her mother. Do the heavy metal on the OJ. I have a blue ass with a blue toe. Blue is the color of all that I wear. Blue are the streets and the trees are too. I have a girlfriend and she is so blue. tried that it didn't really work that well. Kind of worked. Okay, one last big smash. My arms. And hurt. there you go. Oh, Betsy comes in everything. Save the video. That's how you make gravel. Very this cool. wasn't really a weapon test video. We we're just making gravel for our driveway. Yep. And destroying a battle axe thingy. And if that's illegal, um, it is a, d a destruction hammer. It is a demolition hammer if war hammers are illegal in Michigan. Pretty much. Always have a backup story. Lesson of the day. It looks like one of those plastic things. Also, bolts may hold up better than welds. 
last time learned. I will use both next time. And welding! But, anyways guys, it looks like Justin the Hammer, exactly like the guy it was named after. It may look good, but it's got a glass jaw, or face, or welds. It's a glass cannon! Yeah, he's a glass cannon. I like that one. Anyways, now we're just making gravel. All we gotta go put it in the in our driveway. All the way up there. Josh, you're hauling it. It's his job. No promises. It. He's hauling it. Or we'll just leave it here for another day and come smash up a little bit. But uh, anyways, if you enjoyed watching a cobbled together build video. I uh, uh, coupled with cobbling bricks apart then uh, please consider uh, smashing that like button in your own hammer that I'm sure you're gonna go make after this because why wouldn't you and also check out the video that inspired me to make this uh, ZNA's projections foot fledgling hammer the it's a pretty sweet hammer it's kind of like this um, and also just go check out his channel because he makes really sweet stuff and uh, I guess I'll see all of you in the next video. Bye! Hey guys, we broke a hammer. Have fun. Why are you doing this? Why are you doing this to me? Balls, Andrew! Andrew, Sophie! We're great at our job. Are we still rolling? Yes. Oh crap, it stopped. <laughs>